Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. And it's uh, May 23rd. No economic news scheduled today. Uh, we basically are going to find the headline news, which is uh, headline news is the big one is uh, de- um, credit rating uh, for Italy was decreased. So Singapore kind of dropped their credit rating and now creates more worry in the European debt crisis that's instead of improving is actually worsening. So now they're actually kind of looking at uh, more at Greece again, which we've talked about them wanting to restructure their debt. And also they're looking at Spain. So as we've kind of seen, uh, worse, it's been worsening. So what's going on is the stock market's t- taking a bit of a hit today uh, based on those. And as well, as you'll see, the bond market's kind of doing a flight, to, a flight to safety or flight to quality. So the money's kind of pouring into the bond market as we'll kind of see where rates are at uh, coming up here shortly. So a lot of economic news scheduled later this week. We do have the GDP, which will be a big factor this week. PCE, personal consumption expenditure, which is uh, the Fed's uh, favorite uh, gauge for inflation. So that's going to be important to look at as well as the durable goods orders, see where the economy is going. We're going to want to see, is the economy expanding? Is it contracting again? Are we looking at another double dip here? Uh, as we saw last week, the leading indicators kind of dropped for the first time in nearly a year last week. So it's going to be important to look at the durable goods where we're kind of looking at gauging, uh, especially with the summer here. And then uh, later on, uh, towards later fall, we, we start these shipments for, from China over for Christmas shopping. So. We'll it'll be interesting to see what thing, what where things lie. All right, folks. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the bond market here. So here's the uh, bond market here, and as we can see, with on uh, Thursday and Friday we had some up increases here. So we had a nice little rally after that big uh, drop on Wednesday of last week, and right now we had a big opening gap here on uh, this morning, and we're, obviously that results is a better pricing uh, for interest rates. And we're just above the 10-day moving average, and we're kind of hovering here on this ceiling here. So if we could break above it, it's possible we could have another nice little rally. But for the time period, we'd be kind of averaging, as you can see here, between 99.75 and the 1 par 50 here. So we've been kind of in this range here for a while, and it could last a little bit longer. This week, uh, the big thing that's going to pop up uh, later on, it will be the GDP, the durable goods orders, and also the PCE. So they're going to obviously want to see where make sure that inflation is still in check with the PCE, personal consumption expenditure. So right now, mortgage rates are looking good. Uh, I'm, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a little concerned with the opening gap this big here, so we may have it come down and touch base and come back up. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what lay, lies here. But again, uh, you know, uh, mortgage rates are a little bit better today. You guys have a great day. And folks, I'm also a loan officer. If you're looking for a mortgage in the California state of California, I can uh, also help assist you. You can uh, check out my other websites here at Mike, obviously at Mike's Daily Market Report and MikeBjork.com, even CaliforniaMortgageTips.com and the Mike's HomeBuyerUniversity.com. I have some great resources there. But uh, feel free to give me a call at 310-694-3544. I can do refinances and I also do. Um, a purchases so I can help you get pre-approved uh, to buy that next home here. So thank you and keep me in mind.